Okay, third video in this series. Now what we'll do is we'll start to do some actual modeling. So we'll try and model the front arms of this creature. Okay, so let us now just do a bit of modeling. So I'm gonna go back up to the layer, make a fourth layer and everything else is locked and transparent, so we're in a good place there. We'll t tap on our tool button, make sure subdivision object is on, and we'll go cube, and we'll just put a cube over here, um, like so. Now, that cube is now going to be edited, so if I tap on the blue button down here, you can see now I've got all of my points, so now we're truly modeling now. So this would be polygonal modeling once we've finished. We can change the color. So let's just tap the blue button for a minute. Now tap the um, uh, the uh, palette icon and we'll change it to something like a blue so we can really see it's completely different than our underlying model. So we now need to think of that, for example, as being our the middle of our arm and we need to move things around. So edit, so the blue button, hold it and then the blue button. And now you can go zooming in and just pull faces, pull points and pull edges. So it's just like any other polygonal program. We can hold the, 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 the little ball at the top of your controller and tap it and it'll give you that, which is, that's just a loop split. And that splits it all the way through the middle. And then we can also take the face and we can just extrude it. And with inner grips, pulling open and close, we can then pull them open, you know, bigger and smaller, something like that. Um, you can split maybe down here, which means we can make it more rounded. And for anyone who doesn't know, what we're going to do is, is what's called subdivision modeling. So we're going to round it with an algorithm that's available in pretty much all 3D modeling uh, polygonal problem uh, programs so it's not CAD you know CAD doesn't you know th this isn't how CAD works this is how polygonal programs work like Maya Cinema 4D Blender for the most part um, but before we do that and round it I want to make the basic shapes so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making sure I've got all of my faces selected here so I'm getting get myself right inside it if, in fact what we'll do is we'll split it here so Actually, no, I can do it from here quite easily. So I'll take that one and I'll bring it out all the way over here, something like that. And then split that again here. So what I'm doing is I'm changing between my modes uh, by flicking my thumb left and right. So it can be, you can see it on my hand controller there, it can be face mode, point mode, edge mode. So I'm back in the edge mode so I can pull it all around like this. And that means I can make the wrist a bit smaller, hand area a bit smaller. If I want to move them all, just grab them all. Another split there. And then just by, oops, did one I didn't want to do. And then just by using my inner grip, I'm just now moving shapes around, moving points around um, and making the shape that I want. So once I've got it, I'm going to put a split down here so it's nice and tight on that elbow. And then I'm going to bring the elbow out to give it a bit of volume there. Keep these loops quite close here at the bottom. That's going to matter in a moment when I show you. Um, and then maybe this one up a little bit more. And that's pretty much all I would need to do. Maybe one split up here and one about here and one here. And then let's just see what we've got from that. So now, if you tap on the purple button, you can switch subdivision on. So we'll subdivide it once and that smooths it. And now what we can do is, we can do what we do in any subdivision program. We can almost sculpt. So we're moving that smoothed object around to get the shape that we want. But we know the underlying geometry already is quite good. Now the good thing to note here, here at this point is that that, model, that, that geometry now, could be exported now and it could be 3d printed as it as it is it's fully watertight so it's it's perfect for what you want for, for you know for your 3d printing needs um so i'm gonna keep going get the volume right wherever i can 
and then maybe turn that subdivision off for a minute while I do the hand. So small again, make sure I'm on the face mode. I'll bring the hand out like this, back to the point mode, flatten that hand down a little bit, like so. And then we'll put a split there at the back of the hand and put another one there. So that will be the hand pretty much done. And then it's a case of doing the fingers one by one or even joining them. But that is how polygonal modeling works. You can take that one piece and you can copy it and that will be that piece as well. So we're, we're already well on the way with this, you know, with this model. And this, this is pretty much how I would do most of the, of, of the model. So, and at any point you could turn that back on and just have it at one subdivision level like so, or even as low poly if you wish, you can see it now as, as a low polygon model and it really shows you the wireframe and how, you know, how it's working, even in this low polygon state. Um, and if you can work like this around the whole model, you'll probably have quite a good experience um, with, you know, with Gravity Sketch as your modeling tool. So I am just gonna save it, so save as, we're going to save it here and I'm going to call it um, Queen Q U E E N A L E N space O O five because I know I've done some other iterations and say yes. So we've now saved it. Um, it's going to take a second just to you know save it and upload it to the cloud, and then that's done and we're safe now. We've got that one in you know in the bag. I hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content and if you like it enough to give it a thumbs up then why not subscribe to the channel down below and help us grow as a channel have a great week everyone